This question will carry on onto the next page. So we've got two questions over here, and then on the next page, we have a question over there. So Mr. Jabu lives in Komani in the Enoch uh, Imgenjima municipality and uses prepaid electricity that is sold to customers at a VAT inclusive rate. Table 10 shows the cost. Okay, so let's just go through this just to understand this a little bit. So if you use block one, then that means you are someone who uses anywhere between zero and 50 kilowatts, then they will charge you this amount per kilowatt, okay? If you start using more electricity, then you are gonna start paying more for your, uh, you're gonna start paying more per kilowatt. It's almost their way of trying to stop you from wasting electricity. So as you start using more, they're gonna start increasing the price, okay? So the first question says, um, state any two reasons why it is an advantage for the municipality to sell prepaid electricity. Well, okay, so let's just explain how that works. There are two main ways to get electricity here in South Africa. One of them is using prepaid, now there's that word prepaid. Prepaid means that you pay before you use it. And the other one is just using like a normal um, account. So I remember when I was younger, um, we never had a prepaid meter in our house. So what happened was you would use your electricity, right? You would use your electricity. And then at the end of the month, the municipality would send my parents an invoice of how much we used, and then you would have to pay. Now, that is the old way of doing it, okay? The new way is where we use prepaid. So you have like some type of prepaid box in your house and you go onto your banking app or maybe you go to the shop and you buy your electricity and then you enter the number into your box and then you can use your electricity. So you pay before you use it. Whereas when I was younger and we did it like this, uh, you would pay after you use it, okay? So why would it be better for a municipality to use prepaid? Well, one of the reasons is that they get their money immediately. Instead of waiting after the month to get their money, they get their money immediately. They get the money immediately. There's also not gonna be any debt. I mean, think about some people who cannot afford to pay their electricity at the end of the month then they're just not gonna pay, and then the municipality is gonna be in debt. So there will be no, this is a second reason, no debt, okay? There's not gonna be any people who, there's not gonna be any people who um, are like not paying for their electricity. Okay, uh, this question says, determine the number of units that Mr. Jabu received when he bought prepaid electricity for 68 rand and two cents. Okay, so what I notice is that this is in rand, whereas this is in cents. So you gotta change it to one, or you gotta change one of them. So I'm gonna actually change this one over here to cents. So remember that in one rand, it's a hundred cents. So I'm gonna multiply this by 100. And that would be 6,802 cents. So what I'm then gonna do, um, if you look here, this is for every one unit, you're gonna pay 144 cents. So let's see how many units he could get. So I'm gonna say 6,802 uh, divided by 144.72. Ah, we lucky, we got 47, 47 units. If it went more than 50, then we would have a bit of a problem because then it means that he actually bought some units in this one and then some units in this one. But his units was, his units was only 47, so he's still within this over here. So it says determine the number of units that he received, it'll be 47 units. This question says that Mr. Jabu stated that the percentage profit that the municip municipality makes when a customer buys this many units is more than 34%. Verify by showing all calculations if his claim is valid. Okay, so remember, the way it works is that um, the way it works is the following. You've got ESCOM, right? Now, they, they create the electricity. Okay, so let's put a little bubble here. They create electricity. They then sell it to the municipality. The municipality then gives it to each of us in our homes, okay? These are our homes. 
So the municipality is obviously needing to make money. So they're going to buy it from ESCOM at a certain price and then they're going to sell it to us at a certain price. So here in this table at the bottom here, they tell us that the municipality buys electricity from ESCOM at a VAT inclusive price of 1 Rand 33. Okay, so that's 1 Rand 33 per unit, per unit. Then they sell it to us. Uh, they sell it to us at, uh, for example, 1 Rand 44. Well, 1 Rand, yeah, if you round that, it would be about 1 Rand 44. This would be about 1 Rand 86, 2 Rand 61, and 3 Rand and 8 cents. You see, so they're selling it a little bit more, but that's normal because they're trying to make a bit of money because it's like a business. So it says, Mr. Jabu stated that the percentage profit when a customer buys 290 kilowatts is going to be more than 34%. Okay, so what we need to be careful of here is that if someone buys 290 kilowatts, um, some of it's going to be inside here, and then the rest is going to be inside here. Okay, so someone buys 290 kilowatts. The first 50 kilowatts is going to be um, priced at this amount over here. So I'm going to just keep everything in cents for now. So we could say 50 uh, multiplied by 144.72. Okay, now, how many units do we still have left over? Well, there's 290 units in total. So if you, if you already bought 50 of them here, then there's still going to be 240 units. Now those 240 units are going to be inside here. Okay, because to go from 50 to 350, that's 300. So we're going to buy the next 240 units over there. So that's 240. But now this price will be 186 cents. So 186.06. And so if we work out the total cents, it's going to be 51,890.4. Now we need to change that to Rand. So let's divide everything by one. Let's divide that by 100. And that'll be 518 rand and 90 cents. So that is what that is what the person who is buying the electricity from the municipality would spend. Okay, so that's called the selling price. Okay, now we need to go get the cost price. The cost price is how much does the municipality pay ESCOM? Okay, so we need to go see what does the municipality pay ESCOM. Because this is the selling price. This is the price that the that 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 we pay. You know, the normal people in South Africa. That's what we pay. But now let's go see what the municipality pays ESCOM. So they pay ESCOM one rand thirty three per unit. How many units did we buy? Uh, where did it tell us? Where is it? Where is it? Two hundred and ninety. And that's only 385 rand, 385 rand and 70 cents. That is the cost price, okay? So now we have everything that we need to use the formula. So percentage profit would be um, the selling price, which is 518.90, minus the cost price, which is 385.70, divided by the cost price again, and then multiplied by 100. Just remember to squeeze the 100 in in the correct way, like you can see it over here. Oh yeah, 34, it's a good profit. Uh, percentage profit is 34.53%. Um, so Mr. Jabu stated that the percentage profit, <laughs> percentage profit sorry, um, is more than 34%. Yes, it is, it's 34.53%. It's so we could say um, claim is valid, claim, is valid.